Simon Perez was a man so elusive that even the deadliest of criminals couldn't pin him down. For 25 years, Simon had been the invisible hand guiding the finances of the world's most dangerous organizations. From cartel compounds to mob bosses' offices, he kept their dirty money clean and flowing. But Simon had a secret. He had been siphoning off funds, amassing a fortune of over a billion dollars. His meticulous scheme was starting to unravel. Simon's brilliance lay in his ability to manipulate digital currencies and offshore accounts. He created complex shell companies that masked his activities, and he used a web of intermediaries to launder money through legitimate businesses. Every transaction was a masterpiece of deception, designed to leave no trace back to him. He even planted fake records and cartel ledgers to account for the missing funds, making it seem as though the money had been lost due to market fluctuations or minor operational losses. The Gambino crime family and the El Oso Negro cartel had grown suspicious. Discrepancies in their accounts could no longer be ignored. To address this, they hired an elite accounting firm to conduct a covert audit. As the auditors delved into the labyrinthine books, Simon, ever vigilant, detected the intrusion. His fingers danced across the keyboard, setting off a cascade of digital defenses. None of the cartels or mobs had ever met Simon. They didn't know what he looked like. He once read a biography about a spy the CIA had captured. The traitor, according to the bio, told the agency he dealt only in letters. This way, the country he was spying for would never have something incriminating over him, and there would be less risk of someone in their agency unknowingly revealing his identity to the Americans. Simon knew his time was up. To escape, he made his final and most daring move, he vanished into thin air, leaving no trace of his existence. Disguised as a man stricken with deep depression, he changed his name to Sam Malone, a character from the television series Cheers. He checked into a remote mental institution in Utah. Here, his mind was free to concoct his next move. Vinnie Moretti, a made guy with the Gambino family, was a relentless hunter. Renowned for his meticulous nature and razor-sharp instincts, he was the ideal man for the task. His sole lead, a brief phone conversation Simon had a year ago with a mob boss discussing a casino festival trip to Morocco. Vinny's quest began there, navigating layers of security and parsing through a labyrinth of data. After thirty grueling days, he uncovered a name, Sam Malone, residing at a Utah address. Interestingly, all charges against Sam Malone traced back to his time in Morocco. Vinny strategized. Where would someone like Simon hide? He pondered this question and eventually listed ten potential hideouts. His search across Utah proved fruitless. Then, one fateful day while driving, he saw a hospital, and everything came together. A psychiatric hospital is where Simon must be hiding. There are fifteen mental institutions in Utah. He began to research, and after sixty days, he believed he had found Simon. He devised a plan. Infiltrating the mental institution where Simon had taken refuge, Vinny adopted an eccentric persona, claiming to be from the planet Vega. This outlandish act served as his perfect cover. As he navigated the institution's hallways, his keen eyes scanned every corner, searching for any sign of Simon. Simon watched Vinny's arrival with a mixture of curiosity and dread. He knew the syndicate wouldn't stop until they had their money in his head. Simon had spent years preparing for this moment. Every exit, every hiding place, every ally within the institution had been accounted for. But Vinny was no ordinary foe, his persistence was unmatched. Days turned into weeks as Vinny subtly probed the institution's staff and patients. Simon, feigning his depressive state, kept a low profile. But Vinny's methods were insidious, planting seeds of doubt and coaxing out secrets. Tension escalated, a high-stakes game of cat and mouse. One stormy evening, as Vinny finally cornered Simon in the institution's library, the rain pounded against the windows, mirroring the intensity of their encounter. I know who you are, Vinny whispered, his voice a knife edge. Simon's mind raced, calculating his next move. Simon had always been one step ahead, and tonight was no different. With a sudden burst of energy, he activated a hidden escape plan. 
a series of pre-planned diversions created chaos within the institution, giving Simon the cover he needed. As Vinny fought through the confusion, Simon slipped away, a ghost once more. In the aftermath, Vinny found a single, note left behind by Simon, Catch me if you can. It was a challenge and a promise. Vinny knew this was far from over. The hunt would continue, each man driven by their own dark motives. Simon disappeared into the night, his next destination unknown. Vinny, undeterred, vowed to track him down. As the two men played their deadly game, the world watched, unaware of the high-stakes drama unfolding in the shadows. Simon set his sights on a new target, a vault holding secrets that could topple the syndicate. Just as Simon thought he was in the clear, he received a cryptic message on his secure line, you're not as invisible as you think. His blood ran cold. An unexpected ally of Vinny's had emerged from the shadows, bringing with them a revelation that would change everything. The hunt was on. The stakes had never been higher. And as Simon and Vinny moved across the chessboard of their deadly game, the final showdown loomed ever closer, shrouded in suspense and uncertainty. The shadows of the ledger would only deepen, and the world would soon witness a clash like no other.